Sharon and I are going to demonstrate the partner version of the exercise which stretches middle deltoid here and also one of the rotator cuff muscles called supraspinatus, supra meaning above, so it's the one that runs from this part of the humerus here all the way across to here and is internal to the shoulder girdle itself. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to ask Sharon to turn and face away from us, like so, and I'm going to hold her arm like this in a trapeze grip. Now once in this position, like so, you need to know that if you put your hand here as a support and pull like this, the person will unwind from the stretch, which won't be any use at all. So instead, we're going to put the support hand opposite the pulling point, which is we're pulling on the elbow here, like so, and you'll notice that I've got my legs braced really wide apart so that I'm really strong. And in that position there, just grab my wrist shaz if you can. I'm now going to draw her arm behind her body. So just let it go behind the body and now lift your chest up to finish it off. There you go. That's a perfectly demonstrated first position. Now most people will think that the exercise ends when the arm contacts the rib cage, but that's not the case. I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. When you're ready, Sharon, press your right arm straight out to the side. So she's doing a contraction. She's trying to pull her arm directly away from me. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, let me take the arm a little bit further behind the body. Now, all of that extra movement has come from the ribs being compressed. And it's that extra movement which stretches supraspinatus and middle deltoid. And hold your partner in this position for a moment or two to come out gently. Let the stretch come away and we'll change over positions and we'll show you what the other side looks like. Again, the same. Hold the arm in a trapeze grip. Change your own legs over so that you're well braced and hold the body opposite the elbow like so. Draw the arm behind the body. Say when, is that enough? That'll do. And now when you're ready, lift your chest up to straighten your back. That's lovely. And now press your elbow straight out to the side as though you're pulling away from me. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Relax, breathe in and lift your chest up even further. And on a breath out, I slowly take the arm behind the body. And as you can see, the arm moved a considerable amount behind the body. And that's all in virtue of the rib cage being bent gently out of the way. Hold your partner in this position for a little bit and let them come out. Now when you get this right, firstly the shoulders themselves, this part here feels much more relaxed and also this muscle along the top here is also softened to some extent. Excellent. 